You see, Christ died for sins. And we find out that this Christ is Jesus Himself, the Holy Majestic One who didn't even come on His own, but the Father sent Him. And He came and He lived a life that we could not live. He never sinned. He loved God perfectly. And He loved His neighbor perfectly. And then He laid His own life down. The innocent for the guilty. I love you. What's that? What's up, brother? What about this? You too, man. Good. You're awesome. But where do you go when you die? I go to Great Spirit. Where is that, sir? And how do you know? So sir, how do you know? Yes. No, you see, come back and talk. Yeah. Come back and talk, please. Right please do. Thank you. Josh. Josh. Okay, thank you. Thank Yahweh. Yeah, Josh, gotcha. So you said that you go to a great spirit. Uh, Indeed. What 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 assurance do you have of that? Um, I've been shown it in many different ways. Okay. And I, I want to hear that, so please tell me. I've had uh, visions. I've uh, connected with spirit. I okay. have seen it. I have felt it. And I know it deep in my core. All right. So it's a personal internal witness. Indeed. Okay. And I, I thank you for sharing that with me. I appreciate honest good conversation okay, okay so Shane, how do you know these things oh that you're screaming at people about oh very 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 much so because have you had visions have you felt it deep in your core I, I've had God actually take my sin did he tell you to it. come out here and yell at people oh, about actu love? oh actually yes be so aggressive about something like oh love? well I, I would actually just like right now am I am I yelling no, not no, no. I I'm, appreciate that you took okay, it down. So, so people think okay, that you're yelling at okay. them and that you're being mean. But not everyone does that, sir. I don't. I don't oh, think that. I'm, okay. I'm saying how so, you come off. But what I'm saying is that so you, some may, okay. some may not. Cool. So okay. So let, we're, let's just keep yeah, it honest. Yeah, let's, it, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. So when when God says, "Go therefore and make disciples," and Paul and in Athens where there were many religions, uh -huh. do you remember? Do, are you familiar with the yes, Bible? Yes, okay. Absolutely. Well, I've read it several times. Okay. Cool. Let's. I want. It's better for you to see this in God's word than me, because what I met doesn't matter what I think. So in Acts 17, he's coming down to Athens. Okay. He comes down there, and he comes down. While he was in Athens, his spirit was provoked as he saw the city was full of idols. So he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and devout persons and this in the is, marketplace. Um, hold on. Okay. Every day with those who happened to be there. So that meant, Josh, that he came out because his love. The Bible actually says, and I, I assume you'll remember. Is this where he started the riot? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. In fact, he okay. wasn't the one who started the riot. In none of these did he start the riot. Um, I don't know. That's up for debate. No, sir, because when it comes in here, and I, you don't well, have to call me sir either. Oh, yeah, I'm Josh. Okay. You're Shane. All right. That's yeah, out of respect. Yep. Friend. Yes, we are. Thank you. So, Josh, actually, through here, and here's where we come to. Here, here's the core of, of this. You see, when we come down through this, he was in the marketplaces. He was reasoning. He was preaching because he wanted people to know the one true living God. Because here, the there were some Stoic philosophers there, people of many different religions listening. And here, oh, that's my wife, Holly. And um, by the way, do you mind if I have this recorded? That's fine. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Okay, after... Thank you. Yep, yeah, I just want to make sure. Uh, so Paul standing in the middle of the Aragapas. So these people said, hey, we want to hear. Come stand before all of us. We want to hear what you have to say. And so he reasoned, comes down here and he says, I perceive that in every way you are very religious. So he's not knocking them. Mm. Okay? And he says, For I passed along and observed the See? objects of your worship. Mm. I found also an uh, altar with this inscription to the unknown God. This I proclaim to you. The God who made the earth does not dwell in, live in temples made by man, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything. Okay, so then he comes down here and he talks Paul's about... Right. Paul's writing Okay, there. yes, Paul. Yeah. And then right over here, uh, it comes over here, and that he says, and that they should seek God that they might find. Okay, so coming down here, he says, the times of ignorance God overlooked, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent because he has fixed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by a man he was appointed, mm -hmm. and of this he has given by the assurance by, to all by raising him from the dead. Now, here's the important part, sir. Now, when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked. Mm -hmm. And others said, we will hear you again about this. And you see, Josh, that's the dividing line. Because many people, many people, many religions, and I don't knock religions, mm -hmm. many people say, we believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's a good man. Yeah. Okay. He had good teachings. Okay. But it's what you do with the resurrection. Because if you believe the resurrection, if the resurrection is true, and it is, Josh, then that means everything that Jesus said about himself is true. And so... 
if you knew, if your friend... I, if, and I believe that. Okay. I want you to be clear on that. Okay. Okay. So if, if, if he was about to die... And you had the means of saving him. Yeah, if he was that's about... Wolf the Piper, by the way. Oh, that's cool. Uh, if he was about to die, uh -huh. and you had the means to save him, would you just stand back and go, well, you know, he can live his life. And he if he told me he wanted to do his thing, and he was going to do his thing, okay. and he didn't care what I had to say, I would let him do okay. that. But here's what I'm getting to. And I said, look, man, you're about to die. Well, you yeah. said, man, you are going to die. And I can... Here, I've got the... This will save you. Right. Okay, you're telling him, you're reasoning with him in love. Does I it mean that I need to hold that actual one, like a Bible? Because I know all that stuff. Okay. I've read it all okay. through and through. No, no, sir, you don't have to. And but I know it, and I feel it, and I believe okay. that. Okay. But I don't, and, and I have a connection with Christ, but I don't okay. feel that it needs Just, to be uh, spewed onto other okay. people. Because people get, a, it, it's a, a convoluted thing that is going on with Christ, and the people that are, I love Christ, I don't love the Christians, okay. is what Gandhi said. That's right. And, and I, and I feel that. I feel that in my heart. Okay. And I love Christ, so, but I don't love what people are doing in His name. Okay. And and, so, and I love what you're doing in His name. I love what you're doing, okay. but I don't love uh, a lot of other stuff that's going on with Josh, okay. okay. No, no. I, it's I Josh. You. Josh, I, I got you. Okay. Okay. This, but we're not talking about me because, I see, I can't save a I couldn't save him. But, but here's the deal. If I went to him and I said, Wolf, man, you're going to die. You're going to die. And he said, look, man, I don't care. I'm just going to go. So at least in love, I have shared with him the message that, or he said, look, here you go. Now, the difference, though, Josh, is that Jesus says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven. Well, what is it that I need to do that I'm not doing now? Okay. Jesus says, I'm the way and the truth and the life. It tells us in Luke chapter 24. What if I've accepted that? Have you asked me if I've accepted that? No, sir. I'm not making any. I'm not asking any, and I'm not making any judgments. You just asked me a question. So what I want to do is take you right over here, sir. Grab my coffee right Go here. right ahead, please. In fact, I'm going to be getting a cup of coffee probably right after this. Can I get you some? Oh, no, sir. That's fine. Thank you. But in Luke chapter 24, we have over here in verses 45 and 46. And this actually goes more into why I'm actually out here today, sir. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance for forgiveness of sin should be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. So the first part is we must repent. Without repentance, there is no forgiveness. And it's not... And it's repentance not, has different meanings to different people. What is your meaning? Okay, yeah, and actually, that's why I hold the Bible. Repentance is not turning from something, it's turning to. So, it tells us that that in, um, I believe it's Hebrews, excuse me, sir. Turning you don't from... Have to call me, sir. Oh, Josh, excuse me. It's just I by know, nature. I know. It tells us that turning uh, repentance toward God, so it's not turning from something, it's turning to, it's now agreeing with God. Okay, you're holy, you're the creator of the heavens and the earth and everything in them. You have made everything so that would point to you. The, the creation cannot contain the creator. And so we agree with him that we have sinned, we have not loved him or our neighbor perfectly all the days of our life. And we now acknowledge that he, his way is true and righteous and pure. And that we ask for forgiveness, we turn to faith in Jesus who came and he lived the life we couldn't. So it said Jesus didn't come to condemn the world, but he came that the world might be saved through him. He said, I didn't come to abolish the law and the prophets. I came to fulfill them. So that meant he, he came, Josh, to, to do what we couldn't do. Right. And then he died on a cross. So it's what called... I'll do that today. I'll okay. do that today. I, 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 I feel like I do it every day, but I'll do it in the way that you asked. Okay. And then it tells us that we put our faith, everything. So we turn to God. We trust in him. And then we, we acknowledge that God came and did for us. Jesus, fully God, fully man. He lived, he lived sinless, and that he took the wrath, our punishment. See, I deserve the punishment of God. I know that. Uh, okay. Okay, but okay. Okay, see, that, that's why it says that the wages of sin is death. So if, I, if I've sinned and I'm going to acknowledge that God is right, I deserve his death. I deserve death. I deserve his wrath. Physical death. Physical, no, spiritual, because it tells us that this is the scary part. This is the scary part, man, and this is why, this is why, why I am out here so, so, oh man. Do you mind if I eat No, this please go, 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 cool. please go ahead. Blessed yeah, uh, Father, we do thank you for this food you provided. Uh, please uh, bless this food, and I pray that you would bless Josh here. Okay, uh, you, you're welcome. 
over and it tells us right here if anyone worships the beast and his image receives the mark, he also will drink of the wine of God's wrath, poured out full strength into the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment goes up forever. And it gets even, man, over here. And it tells us in verse 10, it says, And he carried me away, oh, no, excuse me, 20, um, verse 15. And it tells us right here, and if wrote, anyone... I forgot who it was that wrote this, um... What's okay. his name? John. John. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And actually, God wrote it, and I want to explain it in this way yeah, to I you. Yeah, I got you. Because I've when, read this one. I'll yep. tell you. So when he says that if anyone's name wasn't written in the book of life, they're cast into the lake of fire. And, so it's the second death. Jesus calls it the second death. Okay. So here, here's the. I know I'm in the die. Okay. So it tells us, in, a, in as much as it is appointed for man to die once, and then comes the judgment. Okay. Hebrews chapter 9, 27. So when we acknowledge, okay, God, your way is right. I do deserve your wrath, but. I also know your word tells me, and this is beautiful. See, people think that God in the Old Testament was a mean, angry God. Okay, but here, the first time he's in front of Moses, look at this. This is the words he uses. The Lord uh, descended, then the Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity, transgression, and sin, but who will oh, by no means uh, clear the guilty. So we're guilty, so he's got to punish our sin. Well, on the cross, Jesus died, but the resurrection, that's, that's the assurance I have that it's not about me. My assurance is this, Josh, that if I die today, I go, and if God says, why should I let you into my kingdom, I go, I come with nothing. Well, you know what I learned from it? Is that, do you care to hear what I learned from it? Yes, please. Is that I know that I'm equal to that, and I know, and that's what he was telling us. He said that we could do miracles much greater than his. Okay, he much greater than his. Okay. Coming back to life was something small. We're going to do much bigger stuff than that. Okay. And I honor and respect what he did. But I'm going to do the same thing in my own way. And I have mine. And I've repented. I've repent, I repent every day. Okay. And, I, and I say, I know that I did wrong yesterday. Okay. But I'm going to try to walk better today. Okay. So, I mean, like, where I, I does that you. leave me? That le And here's the truth. Here's okay. the love message. Ready? Yeah. That leaves you still in the pit of hell. Really? And the reason why Josh is see because you're, you're, you're saying I can do it workspace you see all religions that they say here's what you can do to try and be better and it tries to say that I can earn my way and I like I've got the guilt of my sin and I'm gonna do better I'm gonna live my life good I'm gonna try and help but you see what, I, what, what more do I need to do that's it that's why it's a stumbling block that's why it's called a stumbling block because see it brings us to humility and we have to bow our knee and go I can't do it but you have God and what you've done, and I want to live for you, I want to honor you. I do that. And I want to be in your word, because these are his 66 love letters to us, by which he's revealed I read, himself. I read pieces of this every day, and I acknowledge and honor God okay. every single day, and know that he's greater okay. than me. But when you and when I walked by and said great spirit, that's who I'm talking about. Okay. Um, great spirit, the natives were talking about the okay. same thing that you're talking about. And, and here's the difference though, sir. Um, Josh, excuse me. <laughs> here's the difference. The difference is, is that you're saying that there are many ways that they, what they believe. No, no I'm okay. saying that all ways are the way. And you just told me that you can do better things. You're going to do things. He told that, us. He told okay. us we were going to do that. He said that if we go, but that's preaching the gospel. Because see, the power of God. Did he not say that? Did he not say oh, you will do miracles much greater yeah. than my own? Not only will you do this, but you'll do even greater miracles. And and you, when Peter would walk by, remember they used to touch the, the garment of Jesus. But when the shadow of Peter hit people, people were healed. Because of the faith and that was the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit coming and confirming by signs and wonders through the Apostles that he had it that he had the Holy Spirit okay and that they could attain it as okay. well okay and here's the difference sir because in every one of those Sorry to feel no, like no, no 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 I'm not no I the, I, 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 I truly use hand motions I'm so do I to, yeah. and I really appreciate this but you see, the difference is, is that all the apostles never believed in themselves. What they did is they said, don't look upon me like this man was healed by our own piety or anything, but it's by Jesus Christ. Yeah. So the, the difference is, is that when we have assurance and faith, 1 John, this is, this is the beauty. Because when I come and I go, you know what, Lord God, I do deserve your wrath. I do know that I, I am not... Do you not think that, that that would bring bad things into your life? No, 
No, no, no, because then I also believe the Word of God is the Word of God. In Romans uh, 8.28 says, For, I'm, for uh, God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called to Including according. other religions. Yeah. Including other... And He will use... He, but the difference is, no, because when Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no man comes to the Father but through me, that's exclusive, Josh. That's why when someone... Uh, I've had talks with people that it's believe... how you interpret that. Though. No, no. See, it's not open for interpretation. It is open for interpretation. Because when what it, does that mean, to come through me? Okay. But this goes further, because if we look in His Word, what does God say, Josh? He says, uh, He who has the Son has the Father. He who does not have the Son of God does not have the Father. Because the Son has the Holy Spirit. Okay. Because He is the in the son, Father. The Son's flesh has died. He, he, he does the have the Holy Spirit. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. You're fine. No, Josh. We... Follow with me here. Because Jesus tells us right here, you are not among my sheep. John chapter 10. This is why I carry the Bible, because it's important that people not see what I say. Right here, it tells us, oh yeah, 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 you're fine. You, you are A-OK. -okay. Uh, John 10, 36. I can only do this for about five more minutes. Yeah, yeah, and I, I've got to get going Because too. I would like to stay here all day. And I'm, I want to leave you something right here, right here, please. It says right here, uh, it's uh, 26 through 31, but you do not believe because you are not a part of my flock. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one. You see what that's saying is? Yeah. It's, it's saying that uh, 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 a, a very good Buddhist who believes in Jesus. Can I read that again actually? Yeah, please. Um, and, I, and right here, right here in John chapter 10, 26, but you do not believe because you are not a part of my flock. My sheep hear my voice, and they and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal. So they're not following another religion; they're following Jesus. And he says right here that right after that he tells them, "I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand." And there, this is look at this. My Father who gave them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one. You see the joy of that. I can rest and not say, I have to earn every day my salvation, but I can go, thank you, Lord Jesus, that you've done for me what I can't. And, and you know, I am going to follow you. I am going to praise you. I am going to worship you because you are worthy. And one day when you come again, you're not coming to condemn me. You're coming to bring me to you. And that's my assurance. Cool. Let me leave this with you. Do you have a Bible? I do. Okay. I several. Okay, cool. And if you know someone, here's our the track. But I want to leave you with my card. So eventually, if you say, "Hey, man, I've got another question," Facebook, Facebook, and you can, yep. And if you go to this website, you can scan it, whatever. It'll take you to everything, and then it'll bring us to that place. Okay. Thank you, John. Repent and believe the gospel. You mind if I pray for you real quick? Sure. Holy Father, I want to say thank you for this time to spend with uh, Josh. I want to say thank you that we've had such a good conversation. And I thank you for his honesty. Father, I pray that you would give him eyes to see and ears to hear and you would lead him in your way and that you would show him your glory that's in the face of Jesus Christ, that you would cast a sin as far as east is from west and that you would give him eternal life and the assurance that he will be in your presence forever and ever enjoying you. Thank you, Father, for today, and thank you for this time. Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Be well. See you, brother. Thank you. Have a good day.